wants to. Yeah. Move. Now yep. let's see what Lord Tegan wants to do. Yep. So you guys um, bustle off to the uh, the main council building. Um, once Tree again, structure. like. Yeah, yeah. You um, you give them the note, uh, and they just look it over, um, because it's got like a seal of of uh of a very familiar uh fleur de lis uh, sign on it. So mm -hmm. um, they at that point they don't even ask you for ID. They just direct you in. You uh, they have you put your weapons. Do they take our? Oh, they do have us take our weapons. Yeah. Okay, that's yep. fine. Of course, just the, yep. the standard stuff. Yeah. Uh, and they lead you uh. So someone comes and gets you and leads you up to Lord Tegan's uh, private office, and um, you are asked to wait just a minute. They go in the room and uh, it looks like they're just asking if he's ready for you, and uh, they nod you in. Of course he is. Um, I lead us in. Um, okay. Lead on do a, a ba bow at the door and. Yeah, I you um, his Tegan. form. Yeah. yeah, you see that he's actually um, sitting on uh, a chair because uh, he's got like a desk and then he's got like a couple of chairs and a nice couch and it's like a very, it's a lavish office. I mean, you you you've been to this guy's house, you know he's he's low. Yeah, we've been in his office too. Yes, you when have. he called us yep. in, dressed him down, but he's yeah. the same office. Yes, and he stands as you guys walk in, and so does. A rather stunning uh, human woman. Um, she's wearing kind of like a um, oh, a fairly revealing black dress. Uh, she's got kind of like almond-shaped eyes, dark sort of eye shadow around, um, and she's got lipstick on that's kind of such a dark red it's almost black. Um, and she she basically looks like Severine from Skyfall. If you've seen her in the casino scene, mm -hmm. um, and I will link you a picture in just a sec. Okay, I was googling. Because I could myself. see Allison like. I was like, I I think I've does seen she, that movie. Does she also look haunted? Oh that, oh, that chick. Ooh, okay. Um. All right. Oh, you posted it. Does okay. she look haunted? She does not. She looks like haunted? she's smiling politely. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Severine. Severine. Was, I mean, not to give anything, but Severine was an unwilling. Concubine. Kind she of. was a child prostitute. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, then, this woman that's appears to up. not be that. <laughs> Got it. Uh, okay. I I bow. I bowed to Tegan at first, but then I I turned to her and uh, I give a a bow as well. Ah, so Kurzan, these are supposed to be my gallant warriors. He's French. <laughs> My I lady, say that. I say that. so badly to do one. Yes, my, I say, my <laughs> lady, <laughs> Durian, Durian Burr at your service. She holds out her hand. Uh, I, I go up and courtly bow, and um, t I don't kiss it. I, um, I, I do the like forehead touch with it. Okay, is that a thing? I don't actually know this. <laughs> so you could, I mean, different cultures, they could be rude to be considered to kiss the actual okay. hand. So you touch the for the hand to the forehead as you bow. This is same gesture, okay. but cool. But yeah, maybe yeah. less I, forward. Less forward. Yes, I like it. A little less presumptive. Maybe, uh, mm -hmm. maybe a good idea. <laughs> and yeah, um, Curzon speaks up and says, "Yes, these are uh, the people I was telling you about: um, Durian, uh, Nina, Cabin, and Fonolin. Uh, meet um, Lady Nefish. She." Well, she comes from a place quite far from here. Lady Nefish, very nice to meet you. What do you spell? A pleasure, my dear. N-E-F-E-S-H, who cares? Nefish. Yeah, she doesn't spell her name for you, so you don't know. You can't spell things yet anyway. It doesn't yeah. spell us your name, my lady. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I imagine us asking I, I how say... to spell that. <laughs> Well, Caben's not very charismatic. Do you actually ask that? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Sorry. Yeah, I'm like showing Nina how to spell. No. <laughs> During, Lesson for the day. Uh, I, I just say, uh, uh, my lady, my lord, um, what can we aid you with? Yes, please sit and join us. Um, and he uh, brings over the like attendant that was waiting at the door, and they bring in like a. Uh, a bottle of wine and starts pouring a few glasses for each and 
Uh, Lord Tegan nods and says, Thank you, that will be all. And she exits and closes the door. Uh, well, I had a feeling I would uh, come to need your services sooner or later. Uh, my dear, these four are the Knights Draconis of Platinus. They are responsible for the fall of Recumen the Red. Not I, I, I just not yeah, I just nod my head. Three of us. Bon, bon is just it doesn't. Like looking around. Do, do you speak up? Do you speak up about that, Caven? Do you say not? Fun? No, I'm just noting Travis. But yeah, does it, does anyone say? I, anything? I would say something. I would say, uh, pardon me, but uh, I'm actually not one of the Knights Draconis, just because I don't want them to think I'm a liar. Uh, yes, uh. but uh, involved in the hunt of a Chimera fawn, surely you've earned your stripes with us. Oh, absolutely. You are very modest, my dear. I appreciate the honesty. I kind of bow in her direction. What can we do for you, my lord and my lady? Uh, Curzon looks over to her and she kind of takes the cue and says, I must apologize first. This may be a matter that is uh, perhaps below your your usual battle fare. It is not a matter of dragons or chimeras, as you say. My lady, um, we all come from different walks of life and have... Well, uh, to, not, to not disturb your ears, we've been in bar fights and dragon quests and everything in between, so... She smiles at that and says, I understand. Uh, I have recently been having some problems with bandits... Uh, I am involved with the. Uh, she kind of looks, glances at Curzon and says, I'm involved in a few shipping businesses with uh, Lord Tegan. Uh, though I must admit, I usually work more closely with his wife. Um, ah. <laughs> not that way, Vaughn. <laughs> well, maybe, you don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> she continues and says... Garen rubs have, his palms together. <laughs> whereas no, there have been many pirates on the high seas in these times, uh, my troubles have been a bit more uh, terrestrial. Uh, mm. I have had a couple of caravans go missing in the last few days. Uh, I was hoping maybe you could help me look into it. My lady, where were these caravans vanishing from? Well, I had already asked uh, a talented person to look into this issue. Uh, he was successful in tracking these bandits to a certain area, but was not willing to engage them further. I mm. do not believe he liked the odds. I see. I was thinking a group of warriors such as yourselves perhaps would fare better. I, I speak up at this point and I say this talented associate of yours, would he be accompanying us as a guide? Uh, unfortunately not. I heard recently that after he was uh, after he left my employ, he got another job. It appears that the most talented archer in all of Cien is in high demand. Kaelin kind of looks at a. I I grin a minute. Grunt sigh. At his grunt, and then I I ask, um, my lady, I know we are in formalities here, but do you mind if I ask you some further questions about this for our information? Not at all. I will help you as much as I can. I didn't. I did receive the. Uh, uh, best instructions that Sir Meritus could provide. He, uh, you should be able to follow them, hopefully back to where he found these bandits originally. Where, um, what do you know of these, or what have you heard intel of these bandits? Are they, um, thugs? I'm... Are they humans? Are they, are they stealthy assassins? Are they... They appear to be a group of elves, which is to be expected given the area. But, um, yes, I would say that uh, perhaps stealth is maybe their strong suit. I stop her for a moment and I ask, uh, would you mind me asking what kind of elves they seem to be? Any specific kind? Not darker-skinned ones, correct? 
She looks at you for a moment and says, Do you speak of the dwellers of the Underdark, the Drow? Yes. I'm just checking to make sure it's not them? Not as far as I know. I feel as though my my man would have mentioned such a thing. Okay. I must assume I've heard bad things about are, them. Uh, I apologize, Lord Tegan. Um, high elves, I believe, is the translation. He nods and says, They are likely bandits of, unfortunately, of our own country, mm. taking um, advantage of, well, we have less troops stationed in the north right now, maybe, than the south. Uh, True. Given... Troubling times, I understand, Lord Tegan. Yes. Though, of course, we could uh, redistribute them quickly if need be. Certainly, certainly. Yes, ma'am. Um, I, 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 I actually I contemplate a moment and after Tegan had said about the South, and I'm kind of staring off into space. Um, anyway. Yeah. Um, the woman continues on and says... Uh, my man, he tracked these uh, dastardly devils down to an area between uh, Grigrovian and Kanta. It is a, a very sparse forest. Uh, he mentioned, well, he left some writing as a description. Uh, do any of you know how to read? I, I put out my hand. Ah, excellent. Um, and she gathers up a few papers. I, I apologize for the question. I was not sure uh, the nature of your upbringing. Yes. And she hands over a, a sheaf of, um, which look like fairly untidy, uh, untidily scrawled notes in Elven. Um, but they have it's a few sheets of paper with various things on it. Um, do you like go over them in detail? I, I I'm gonna scan them. Very quickly. Um, not. Yeah. I will look at them in detail later, but I'm gonna look okay. for. Yeah, they they look like basic um, walking directions. A couple of landmarks. There's a description of uh, some type of cottage or cabin, mm -hmm. um, and then a few observances on people moving about, um, and a few various other notes. That's what I, um, you get at a, at a basic uh, scan. I, I, I guess, but not to be rude, I, I tuck them and I, I fold them and put them mm -hmm. in my duster jacket and I say, my lady, I, I look around the party, I say, I think we would be honored to help you. Um, oh, very glad to hear that. I, um... <clears throat> and she, she kind of pauses and looks back over at Lord Tegan and says... As far as I'm concerned, Sir Durian, these uh, men are responsible for several cl crimes, and um, whatever cargo you could recover would be, uh, I'm sure, most valuable to the lady here. Um, however, we're more concerned about making sure these men do not repeat their crimes. Is that understood? Yes, it... Um Depends whether you wish them to be, uh, um, uh, Subdued. Dis how, how, how thoroughly discouraged do you wish them, my lord? It is hard times Ultimate to be an outside... Discouraged. My lord, then, I am, um, I will ask you two questions, then. One I must be discreet about, but, uh, have you heard word from Lady Lasanta in this direction? In... I'm. S I have not heard from the lady. No. I see. Um, she sent a report, uh, perhaps a week ago, saying that they were making progress. But I have not heard any final word on her matter. So you know it to be a safe passage, then. The roads are generally safe. Yes, though. Um, if you're a merchant convoy, apparently less so. I am unhappy with the... We don't usually have a lot of bandits in CN. Troubling times, as I said. Yes, it appears that some people wish to take advantage of those. 
I wish a certain message to be sent to the people who would think such a way. Yeah. My lord, if it. you would if you would um empower us to deliver you said have, message. You have all the permissions that you need, I assure you. I nod well, and I look to Nina. Well taken, Lady Nefish, if I may. What of kind of cargo or goods were you transporting? Is it sensitive or just like spices? Material? Uh, I must admit it was uh, mostly valuables. Gold, gems, things I would uh, very much like to recover, but the knowledge that uh, such shipments will not be intercepted again would be would be very uh, comforting to know. There were also a good many silks that were, well, hiding the more important cargo. Of course, anything that could be recovered would be very much appreciated. I just nodded because I asked that in case we were able to recover it, it would be good to know the contents. Yes, you will find stamped coins of, uh, of the Laurent Isle. Yeah, my, I, 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 perk, I perk, my ears perk, but I don't react like Caven just did. Caven <laughs> visibly, visibly reacts to that. Yeah, okay. Alright. All right. They don't say anything about you not saying anything, so. <laughs> um, I, I look at Nina and I say, um, forgive me, my lady, we are indeed accomplished in um, hunting and perhaps great quests for great good, but um, we are still but hedge knights, and I, and I must ask this question after Nina's, but um, if we can recover what we may, what, um, what, what shall we um, see, make sure that you definitely want return to yourself? Was it uh, again, as much as you could recover. Uh, do not worry, Sir Darian. I, I will certainly be ready with the reward if you uh, are And I'm already, I'm already apologetically like waving off. I say, I understand. Please, my please, no, no. It is not rude. You are performing a service. I would not expect you to do it for free. My, uh, my lady, I understand. Um, my, this person by understanding, I, I'm happy to recover anything um, that we may. Of course, and, and these are naturally bandits. If you recover anything that I cannot identify as mine, well, that would certainly be yours to keep. If, of course, the original owners could not be found. Obviously, my lady. Uh, I, I appreciate please it. Keep, please keep in mind the uh, men and women that were part of these, these caravans also did not return. I mm. I expected as much. Um, my lady, is there a chance they could be alive? For ransom or for otherwise? I do not know. Sir Meritus did not uh, note any uh, captives among the, the encampment. But I do not know whether they might have been moved, if the cargo might be moved, if these bandits are even still there. Uh, it may not be a quick stop. You, there, there may be some tracking involved. I uh, again, uh, as much as I know, would be on those sheets of paper. Fair enough. Uh, Travis, this person's human, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Not half elf, not elf, just full human. Yes, that's what I human am. means. Just making so, sure. So one hundred percent human, not ninety percent human, or you know, one eye, which she makes them. Unhuman. Yeah, I mean, I mean, other than like the tusks, like she's pretty much entirely. <laughs> Got it. That's why I was so turned on during this. All women actually yeah. have tusks. So yeah, pure, she, she doesn't have some kind of skeletal wings going. She's, she's a pure blood, not a mud blood. <laughs> she appears to be fully human. Yes. <laughs> I yeah, point like... at her and say "Muggle" and say "Wingardium Leviosa." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, that is okay. very rude. I do not know why you are pointing uh, it. I do not say that, Travis. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I say, um, my lady, normally I, for politeness, would excuse myself to talk with my party, but this seems uh, a worthy case and something that we are most capable to take on. We have 
been s had to uh, have had some success in tracking down bandits in the past, and um, not without their own costs. I think we are well prepared this time. Excellent. I would uh, appreciate it. any and all help you could uh, provide in this case. Um, I, I look. I look around the party really quickly and give a little quick, a little nod. I give an elf nod. Cool. All good. My lady, I bow and I say, "We are yours to command." And uh, excellent. Excellent to help you. Glad to help you out. I'm glad to hear it, uh, Sir Durian. Any basic provisions you would need, please uh, do not hesitate to ask my um, attendant on the way out. Certainly. Thank you. And, uh, my lord, you've been most kind in um, seeing that our stay is comfortable in the city. Please, your assistance is always appreciated. Um, hopefully everything will go smoothly. Uh, my lord... He, he gives a very slight smile at that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just seriously nod. I say, my lord, do you wish for any um, token of sorts for... Um, this message to be delivered that we may return to you specifically. Um, he kind of thinks about that for a second. Um, says, no, I, um, I believe the return of whatever cargo you could find would be sufficient. Please also, um, make sure you're thorough. I nod and, and grin a little bit and say, um, we will take the time necessary. Excellent. I am glad to hear it. And he, he kind of gestures you to the door. Um, I bow. Safe sort of, travels. I sort of um, pause for a second, and then I'm going to say something, Travis. Yeah, you, I, don't uh, know, like, you don't need to describe all that, Josh. Yeah, Just yeah, I, I know. But I'm speak up. Lord, Lord Tegan, if we were to request a carriage... From the reception, um, from your. I'm trying to think of the word to use. What he, his, assistant. Would that be permissible? Nina, I'd rather travel on my own horse anyway, and we have yes. um, additional horses that, um, <laughs> you know, we may want to carry as extra transport, who may be of aid to us. Yes. Yes, but to take this, to take the um, cargo that we find back. And carry to be. I believe I'm sure that is the note, Miss Nina. Uh, you will find that the encampment had horses there. I'm sure anything you find could be uh, taken by them. This, of course, assumes that they do not escape. If you feel extra horses are necessary, I'm sure that we can accommodate you. It's, well, it's also very possible we could use this carriage as a means to have them ambush us and counterattack at them. Nina, I'm sure, trap, we can, I, I'm sure we can improvise. We need, we need to, we Lord, analyze Lord, the notes. Yeah, Lord Tegan nods and says, if you need a wagon, perhaps with some crates, uh, uh, empty but made to look expensive, I could certainly help with that. I, I actually, I, during it stopped and he looks at Nina and said, good Nina, yeah, that's a good idea. I hadn't thought of it. I and can Jimmy set up and Jimmy hadn't. <laughs> yep. I can set up um some crates and barrels and boxes uh uh with my company spice logo. Such a shipment would be valuable. Um it could perhaps attract their attention. I do not know if they're watching the roads at all times, but I just don't I say um we'll discuss this in detail as how to proceed and we will oh, let your I, assistant know. Absolutely. I would prefer this matter be seen to as soon as possible. Um, if you could leave tomorrow that would be ideal. These bandits may not stay where they are for very long. Bandits never seem to. Hmm. I, I nod and... Um... Say, my lord, we'll begin planning tonight. Excellent. Again, anything you need, let me know. Should I have them ready awake? Yeah, I think so. And, uh, my lord, if you could send, um, in the evening, um, send a messenger. We'll, we should have a good idea about the any provisioning we'll need by that time. 
Of and course. As I said, discuss it with my assistant. Whatever you feel is necessary. Cer certainly, my lord. We'll take care of it. Thank you. Thank you and again, my brave warriors. Good luck. Fun her... smiles when he, when she says that. Like, ooh, yay. Brave warriors. <laughs> Fawn flirts, and then Durian <laughs> flirts, and then we leave. No, I'm Okay. Uh, so you're looking for another three-way with Allison's character. No, no, no. I, th that was independent. We just both are immediately like, oh, my lady Nefish, of, of course. Of course. <laughs> we're brave. We're brave. We're so well, brave. Rich, beautiful, I mean. Yeah. Uh, uh, last I one didn't work out so well. For one I give a accent. deep bow to the room, but it is yeah. definitely yeah, pointed definitely. at Lady Nefish. So uh, we leave. We go. Just the bow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you guys head out. You guys head out. We'll stop the ridiculousness. And then, then we ask the assistant. Yeah, Never yeah, too send ridiculous. A messenger. Yeah. And I... uh, yeah, a messenger to check in with us uh, in the evening for um, any supplies we'll need for the morning. Of course, sir. Of course. Is there anything you you think we should get ready right away, or would you prefer to take stock first? Uh, I, I mentioned a wagon and the crates, as Nina had described. Um, she nods and says, "Yes, we will." Um, begin preparing them at once. I assume uh, uh, just filler would be fine, or do you need true cargo? No. Uh, fake cargo will be more than sufficient. Durian kind of is like, looking off and is like... <laughs> uh, no, fake cargo should be fine, but um, weighted appropriately. Of course. Um, and um, any any... Uh, official markings and symbols, as many as you can provide. Uh, and perhaps um, costumes, she... if you will. Uh, <laughs> appropriate garb for merchant driver. And perhaps. The rest we can provide, but a merchant driver. Excellent. Do you all wish to be dressed as merchants, or do you want one or two to look like. Uh... I want to look like a guard. Just, I just me. Yeah, she guard. says. She <laughs> says, yes, perhaps less finely suited out than you are now. You would be... Uh, you are visibly wealthy mercenaries. Or look as such. I do not wish to insult you. You're fine. Excellent. I, I don't say I, anything. I'm just I like... simply mean to say your equipment is obviously uh, very nice. We will be bringing our equipment for sure, but... um. From outward appearances, it would be safer to travel with all the appropriate trappings for a, a spice caravan, perhaps. Yes, excellent, sir. I will uh, arrange them immediately. Um, I will send a messenger tonight for any additional needs. Thank you. Uh, I, I give a, a nod and gesture everyone and say to Fawn on the way out and say, as much as I want to wait for three days for this wa this ring. It could help us on this, but I don't... I take heed to them, to Tegan pushing us out now. I think we should listen to him. Vaughn mm -hmm. looks really uh, sad. We can get it when we come back. We can Jay. get it. We can do the work when we come back. This might be um, enough money. We'll see. Kaven. We have enough money. Uh, no, I, I would invest for this. That's so hard. Kaven. Durian, a word if I could. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I drop back on my as we're walking back to Nina. And I actually s switch to Draconic just so not to be overheard. Like, Cause that's you start you. screeching, you're like... <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm whispering. Yeah, dr Draconic's a, a rough language, but it's not necessarily like loud. I know, I know. Yeah. It's I kind like of like Russian, well. yes. I look at her, when she switches, I actually like glance at her, but then turn back forward. But. It's like, did, did you notice that she mentioned we went Isles? Yes. I mean, was it wasn't. Yes. Was yes. Yes, and there's a lady she, he mentioned too, but. Mm. Trust me, I'm. These days I'm pretty paranoid, but let's not. Uh, I'm not saying that she just. Yeah, I suspect her, but we should also be cautious. I agree. Lord Tegan's response about the region was not very satisfying. I mean. There are two young green dragons near Gregovian, are they not? Uh, well, if I understand the what we were told the country so far, uh, to the east of it, anyway. And to the east of it 
is where we're headed, at least to the northeast. The bandits were spotted between Gergovian and Kanta. Mm-hmm. That would be northwest roughly. of where... It'd be, like, roughly northwest of where the Green Dragons were spotted. If, if you imagine them in the that the middle area, yes, but... I don't know. I'm... Something's odd about all of this. Be it bandits and that we're tracking them down. Um, be it a strange lady who is no mm, you sort know, of origi- whole... origin ties to CN is suddenly appearing and is enlisting Tegan's help to kill bandits. It's There's some oddities to it, I agree, but... Well, let's not forget that the place that you guys encountered Venric was, ironically enough, an establishment of Lord Tegan's. Oh, shit, plot twist. I'm, a, I'm willing. I, I, hashtag oh, conspiracy. Hashtag I actually, conspiracy. I inhale, I inhale deeply and I say, it's true. I don't. I'm not willing to. Too much has happened to suggest to me at this point that Tegan's involved. But oh, Tegan oh, is oh, in oh, charge oh. of the major shipping lanes. Oh, oh, and the so major shipping something. lanes I, are how I, one I, would transfer. I don't trans- accuse Tegan of being involved, but this person is involved with Tegan. She would know where his establishments are as well. Listen, Tegan's shipping interests are ubiquitous. It's surprising that he would enlist somebody from the Laurent Isles to partner on something, especially with his wife, which we've never met his... Well, I've met it. We've met his wife, it's true. I, I revised Actually, myself. Actually, every, yeah, everyone but me. Yeah, I say, remember his wife? She was... um. Wait, why didn't Nina meet his wife? I she wasn't was there. Getting attacked she was the, too busy uh, getting magic missiles. Oh, yeah. I, was, I, was, I was forgetting that was the same session. I said, oh, fire. Nina, that's right. We, when we initially gave word of the, the twins' death, their, their children's death, or their disappearance, uh, Lord Tegan's wife was consider Lady Tegan was considerably less understanding than he was. I don't know what her role in this is, and I have not seen her since. But she was angry. She was, um... Are you guys still talking Draconic this whole time? Yeah. Yeah, you hear kind of a rasping yeah. um, language. Like, you, you'd, you've you heard them speak this before, so you you probably recognize what it is. You've heard Durian um, interrogate kobolds before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, I mean, after I've... After Durian, I start, Durian had been talking, he'd forgotten he was speaking. Yeah, it, so. after I hear it, like... If, after a minute, you're still talking. I just stop and turn around. Like, excuse you guys. <laughs> yeah, so Durian, Dr- you, you kind of bump into Caben a bit. And I say in Draconic, Caben, yes. What? What's up? You guys going to talk to us or hush talking on a little silly language the whole day? Oh. Uh, Nina, we... Well, we should get back and share this in private. Yes. We're speculating on things. I, I, I start speaking normally again. Like, yes... Well, it's just using this because it's less likely to be overheard. In the and even though I said we should it's wait, weird. Um, we start walking again, and yeah, I just, I just wait till I we get back it. to then, guys. It's, it's... No, no, I didn't even wait. I I just speak to them quietly as we're walking and fill them in on the suspicions that the two of us have had thus far. Okay. About uh, Lady Tegan, what is she about? This kind of odd mission, um, going out into a potentially dragon-infested area, bandits. Uh, Sounds cool, man. The lack of soldiers. <laughs> Sounds like soldiers, what I signed up for. The soldiers. I mentioned soldiers being moved south. That's a clear indication of some um, alignment with one of the groups in the war. And I say there's there's things at play, and we're getting embroiled in politics. Politics, maybe inadvertently. Lost, the, lost rub cam, Jimmy. On the face of it. By the way, on Travis the face, has enough has enough time passed yet. For what? The bow. He wants to get the bow. No, I mean, that conversation was basically in real time, so the whole thing took like an hour. It's still like lunch, morning lunchtime, right? Yeah. You've Um, got a few hours yet. Durian spouts some ideas. It's along those lines, guys. Yeah. It's it's about how uh, this may be odd. It it doesn't feel very odd, but a little odd to him. Um, Just there's some inconsistencies, but not enough to pass up a lucrative chance to uh do anything um 
Well, if we run into that stuff, we'll run into it. Otherwise, I think it's time to kill some bandits. Mm -hmm. I agree. Let's go inventory our stuff. Figure out what we'll need. We should uh, pour, the pour over these notes, Duran. See see what see what's in there. Yeah, I uh, I reach out and I hand him the notes. I'm like, you and Fawn, or at least you and talk it over with Fawn and Nina. I'm not the. Give me the give me the tactical notes. I'm not. <laughs> give me the cliff notes. What's I have the TLDR. Always, I mean the well, tactical notes. I haven't always been the best at planning an engagement. Give me the so. TLDR. And Nina well, and I. I'm I, not I, Nina. Nina is. Uh, Durian's really impressed about the idea with the wagons. It totally fits in with what he would want to do. And he's like, Nina has some good ideas for this mission. I think. Um, I think maybe you guys. Yeah, that we'll, wagon. We'll, uh, we'll let's definitely let's definitely talk about that. It's definitely easier to lure the bandits to us than trying to track them. Well, it, it we'll leaves us in the notes. We'll see it, leaves a, it leaves us exposed a bit. We don't know. We don't control the ground as much. But yeah. anyway, Hurry, planning fees. No, yeah. I, so we head back uh, to the inn, Travis, and um, okay. I. Yeah, uh, um, do, actually, do you go back to Llewellyn's at all? No, or? I was just about to say I um. I I I, uh, I actually. Wait, but I, I asked the party on the way back. I said, "Can we swing by Llewellyn's? I'm going to speak with him." Sure. Yeah, okay. I mentioned Wait, I want to swing by. Uh, what the hell is his name? Seneca. Seneca's, Seneca's okay. place to tell him that it will have to wait. We we stop oh, by. It's, it's, it's okay. Yeah, Seneca's was closer, so yeah. we go to Seneca's. I'm a nice person, so I let him know. Yeah. Okay. Actually, Seneca's is farther, so you're at. Um, Great. Uh, uh, yeah, you're at uh, Llewellyn's blanking on names. I stop in, I say, Llewellyn, I'm gonna have to, um, take a pause in my learning. We have a, uh, a mission. Ah. Something from on high came down, I see. I'm glad to see that you're gainfully employed, Durian. I feel confident that you could, um, employ the knowledge I've imparted so far, though uh, you'll certainly need a place to do it, and well, my laboratory, with my purview, would be maybe a good place to employ your new talents. Well, that means a lot to me. Um, of course, I would only charge you a modest. <laughs> I, I smile and I, I don't yeah, even... just gives you a big shitty. Yeah, regret. no, I smile too because I, I I get now like the skills that are involved that I'm like this is mm -hmm. a specialized area. So I'm like I'm in on it a little bit, but I'm like uh, Llewellyn. What do you know of the Laurent Isle? The Laurent Isle? Whew. Interesting place, that is. I've been there three times in my life, and it has, uh, it has never failed to excite. Um, <laughs> there's dangerous. A human, there's a human population on the island. Yes, uh, it's actually a, a fairly multicultural place. Um, volcanic in the middle. Uh, there are a lot of very interesting creatures that live there. Uh, a lot of people come for the thrill of uh, a big game hunt, the danger of stalking something many times the size of yourself, though very few go out without uh, very talented hunting guides. I must admit I found the, the place fascinating myself for magical study. There are a lot of uh, flora and fauna that don't exist elsewhere in the world, to my knowledge. Hmm. You heard of a lady Nefish? I have not. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, I'm. I'm. He kind of <laughs> does like a a very conspiratorial look around. Says, "I'm not a big fan of nobles." Hmm. I grin really broadly and say. You pass it off very well, and I take a look at like a, oh, a mounted, like here. golden embossed sword that I always look at when I come in. That's like yep. this gorgeous piece on the wall, and I look at that and I give a look at him. But if they come in here to buy something, I'm their new best friend. <laughs> mm. Of course. By the way, can I interest you in a plus two mace before you leave? <laughs> <laughs> this is that big uh, mace he pulls from under the yeah, counter yeah, again. Heavy mace, yeah. 
What it, uh, no, the the lance is under the counter, but the oh, there's okay. like a big heavy mace on. I can't I can't it's, wield it's... a big heavy mace, so it's okay. <laughs> I don't think that's not a light weapon, right? That's the no. joke. Oh, God, no. It's a heavy mace. It's a heavy mace. I say, it's literally like, I, I, it's literally like my, my side. Llewellyn, like and you go. The, the, no, no, it's a one-handed the, weapon. The nobleman's <laughs> brutish son who really needs to impress the ladies will buy that from you someday. <laughs> ah, I'm well, saying for something. I certainly hope so. It's a it's a beautiful weapon, actually, very effective. But yes, not uh, not in your wheelhouse, I would say. Well, uh, obviously, outside of this uh, uh, student teacher relationship, uh, I'll keep an eye out on this mission for uh, things of interest for you. Of course, you know I'm always a fan of magical components, and uh, uh, Cabin, if your Pegasus friend starts molting. Grab the feathers. I'll give, him, I'll give him an elf wink. I I don't know if they shit. Um, I I I add in um, and also the um, item you're hanging on to me. You're willing to for the time being just continue to hang on to it. Of course, whenever you wish to apply it to a purchase or get cash out, uh, I'm more than happy to. I think we'll uh, eventually apply it to a purchase. I have a. Th- that would be ideal, Durian. That would be yes. ideal. <laughs> Certainly. And then I nod and say, uh, okay. Good to, good to know on all this. Uh, your uh, friend uh, Seneca, he seemed to be uh, most helpful to Fawn. Um, we'll probably excellent. take him up on his offer, at least after this mission. Excellent, excellent. Good to, uh, it's always nice to give a, a little bit of business to the little guys. <laughs> No insult on his height meant, I apologize. Competition drives drives cities. You know this. Yes. It does. It also drives down my prices. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> my my parents ran a ran an apothecary shop back home, so I know a little bit about that. Ah. I did uh, not know actually, that. A pot carrier uh, shop? Like uh, Yeah, a pot uh, carrier, yes. A pot I, carrier, a, yes. A apothecary. <laughs> God. <laughs> Okay, yep. I'm making a note. Cave in. Yeah. So cool. Do you guys want anything else with Llewellyn? Actually, uh, no. Good. The second um, Cave in mentions the whole um, apothecaries. Apothecary yes, thing. I actually like response, Josh. Like that's actually not a bad I bad mention there, Cave in. Well, do you have any potions of healing available? I certainly do. What are you looking for? Uh, just the minor ones. I have some. Nicer ones, if you would like. <laughs> uh, I, I say I might want to take one of those, actually. I'm like, I, I have a budget to work with, sadly. Ah, I understand. And I, 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 um, and I wink up well, well. Yeah, so he's got um, four potions of Cure Light Wounds and two of Cure Moderate Wounds. That's 50 and 300, respectively. And uh, Cure Moderate's always just one dose, isn't it? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, it, it's, it's not it's like... One, one use. 300 it, it, for one potion, yes. Yeah, I was going to say, get, it's not like in second edition where you can, like, split the dosing. Can I get two of the Cure Light Wounds? Um, yes, absolutely. Um, you, I would say you could split it. I mean, it's 2d8 plus 1 per caster level you would need. Th- like, you could split it half and half and do d8 plus 1 and d8 plus 1, but at that point... Two potions is much cheaper yeah. than one of that, so. So, if Fawn's buying two potions, I'll buy the other okay. two. Okay, excellent. Please deduct the money and That's write gold? it down on your character sheets. Yes, 100 gold, gold total for two potions. And then I inquire about potions that would benefit someone's... Basically, augment someone's strengths or speed. Buffing potions, in other words. Mm-hmm. What about any yeah. anti-bandit potions? Yes. Um, okay, he's got something you might want. Um, uh, where's a D3? So we have... Uh, he has a potion of... Um, where is it? Yeah, he has a potion of bark skin plus two. Um, so drinking that, it's 300 gold. It will give you 
an additional two AC for um Let's see ten minutes per, ten minutes per level, so half an hour I think. Assuming it's made up, yeah. Um I ponder about that one for a second and I look up my wallet very quickly. <laughs> my giant purse bag. Uh, so if I put a zero there, that's basically yeah. 3200 I need to. Uh, yeah, you've got a shit ton of money. Has that been updated since yes. all your purchases? Yes. Okay. And yes. Yeah, uh, and that's fine. I don't think you've bought a lot since your scythe, because uh, you like. In, found... in fact, in fact, yeah. I've actually been lending it out more than anything. Yeah. Like a, yeah. Like a shock. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, you have you have a shit ton of money. You have like three thousand yeah. gold. Yeah, because he got all my money from the troll. Yep. Yeah, because I I paid, basically paid for his plus two armor. Um, yeah, you're carrying a ton of platinum, which is yeah. good. It weighs less, but. You don't how know. much? That's, how that's, much that's, why, that's why I'm spending the gold at the moment. He's got 220 200. platinum, uh, so 2200 gold just in platinum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got about 3500 gold, maybe about 4000. Any, anyway, so it's 300 for a potion. Yes or no? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Excellent. Write it down. Deduct wow, it. I ask him if he has a second one. Of uh, those bark skin. Plus two. He does not. So do you have anything? Else that uh, can um, make somebody harder to hit, perhaps by um, you know, weapons, arrows. Um, he's got something for you. Let me figure out what this is. Uh, potions, potions, potions. All right, we'll do this a little more quickly. Um. While I look it up, we'll say he's got something, and we'll say you decide whether or not to buy it, and you guys leave. Uh, I, I mean, if it's around 300 gold, Travis, I'm going to buy it. So, if it's the same price range. Okay. Um... Da -da -da -da. Ah. Where is it? Um, he has one of... We head over to Seneca's. Yeah. yeah, you head over to Seneca's while I'm looking this up. Cool. And unless there's some, a problem, yep, no. you to deliver the message. Yeah, you guys deliver the message, can't buy it now, still interested, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, oh. And we go back to our inn, and right. um, we're going to sit down lunch. over dinner or, or late lunch, lunch. and uh, start talking about plans. Yeah. So, guys, do, you, do we need anything else? We talk about plans. Yeah. I think later in the day, Nita goes and picks up her bow. And pays yeah. the man. Yeah. Yeah. You um, pick it up. Have you? Did you? What did you put down? Half. That's I right. Think. Um, yeah. I'm fixing it up now on my account. Heavy weights. I put two fifty as a down payment, and it's two fifty okay. now. Pick up. Excellent. And I'm gonna have it picked up in a, a thing of cloth, so people don't see what it is just yet. You've got a giant there, composite like, bow in so, a cloth. So, John, it's wrapped. Just keep it just keep in mind all of the like adults in the city are carrying weapons yeah, most but rapiers it's, it's, but some swords some bows it's supposed to be a gift remember you he's told got, me he's what, got a gift wrap it's no, you no told problem. me what it was it's gift, wrap. it's gift wrapped yeah yeah he knows what it is it's fine it's gift okay. wrapped there's a bow shaped um, object in wrapping that's totally not a bow that you're carrying. No it's like, in, it's like in Harry Potter with the broom is wrapped up. Like, what is this? What could it and be? And it's like, it looks yeah. like a broom. <laughs> what's the, yes, what's the potion, Travis? It, cool. You, you get back to the um, to the inn. And Durian, in the meantime, you uh, found a potion of um, Shield of Faith plus three. Um, so it'll only last for for, uh, let's see if it's plus three. It'll only last for three minutes, but but it gives you a plus two um, deflection bonus. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, every six levels. It's per, so I'm it'll last. It. It's per level. It'll, yeah, it'll last six minutes, and it'll give you plus three to your AC. Yeah. I, uh, how much is it? Three hundred gold. Yeah, I pay it. So it'll it, yeah it'll last much shorter than the bark skin, but it will give you plus three. Six minutes is not bad. Plus three oh. AC, 
Let's and see. you don't have anything that gives deflection. No, you you yeah. should be good. Because some of these bonuses stack, some don't. So Yeah, yeah. No, um, but I don't I don't good. get def yep. yeah, deflection. Okay, yep. I'll take off three hundred gold. Okay. Thank you. And and Nita wonders if we could charge these as an expense and then dismisses the fact. And by that I just meant the potions of cure white wounds, not the actual Travis, is there any problem for me trading two one hundred dollar gems for this and then a hundred gold? One two one hundred gold. Not at all. To consider the gems money. Spend it Got it. Gold. Got it, thank you. Done. Oh shit, I've got gems too. Uh Josh, don't worry about it. It's it's all worth yeah. the same. Like, if anything, having gems is nicer because they're lighter. I just don't know what they're worth, because Dorian always tells me and I never buy it again. <laughs> um, we'll worry about it later. But cool, you guys are equipped. Okay. okay. Um, I present the bow to Caden, and as I present it to him, I say, make sure to bring that back in one piece. It's not finished yet. Yeah, you're going with me where I'm going. I, I just meant that. Make sure you don't break it. <laughs> It's not finished yet. The fine gift, Nina. Yeah, so, so, yeah, Caben, you unwrap and you see this beautiful composite bow. Oh, it looks like it's, shoot. it looks like it's made of, um, a bit of ivory on the more solid parts, and, um, you, uh, you would, um, for the more flexible portions, and, of course, um, oh. some catgut string. Mmm, the best Finest. kind of string. Yep. <laughs> Nina, I, I look at the you. ivory and cry for the elephants. <laughs> it's he, I'm, Come I'm on, he has you know it's obviously rhinos around here. Obviously, <laughs> obviously orc am I, ivory. Am I to assume he hasn't fully inspected it yet? Uh, yeah. Well, Nina, why don't you tell him what he sees? I fully ins like. I'm looking at it. Tell yeah, me what, what I see. So, uh, and I have no idea where he's actually written it on the bow. So you're gonna have to give me a hint with that one, Travis. Uh, but, inscribed uh, along the handle is a phrase saying in Elven Oh god, it's so god annoying. Arena of Rosa. And what does that mean in uh common? In, apparently in common it means early morning rain. As I doubt Cabin, this... you're gonna make it rain. Early morning wood. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's I first this in there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to ruin your moment, Josh. <laughs> Early morning wood, it is. Um, but yeah, guys, we gotta call it. This dog is not gonna make it much longer. Yeah, so. sure. we go okay. to we go to sleep. I thank Nina for the great gift, and I'll update my character sheet. With uh, let's say we got we got we chat into the night about some if there's any additional supplies, and let's um. Yeah. I guess let's do that first thing next session, guys. Yeah. 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 yeah well. well Whatever, whatever you think is necessary, they got you. So got it. Okay, so cool. twenty yeah. vials of alchemist. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, so, that's not a bad idea. So, we'll so, have... so just for the setup, you guys have like a wagon that's stocked with faux spices and various other cargo. Um, they got you each two costumes because they didn't know who wanted to be what. Um, so you could either be dressed as a merchant with stuff baggy enough to fit, um, probably like chain armor on, certainly not a breastplate. Like if you put that on the under their clothing. I'm the merchant. Okay. You're the merchant. Um, does anyone else want to be dressed as a merchant? Is there a, oh, yeah. is there a floral bonnet? Well, Travis, if <laughs> I Do you I want to a... be dressed in drag? <laughs> Haven would love is, that. Can, can we, can we, this? Can we go over the disguises next? Yeah, yeah we can. Okay. Let's do it later. I mean, yeah. We'll just okay. say this is what we got. It, yeah, I, I'd, yeah, I'd want to. I want to have fun with this, but I want to do it right now. Um, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. I know it was a little bit short tonight, um, but it's what happens every once in a while. So, yeah. If you like the show, if you'd like to watching us, like what we're doing here, please give the channel a follow. We also post vods on YouTube. If you miss up, you can catch that throughout the week. Um. Yeah, we'll be Follow back here Twitter, next Monday. Kevin and I. Yeah. There's Twitter I'm... stuff below and on on the overlay, but we'll be, we'll be back next Monday to play, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I believe have no so. issues with that. Okay, cool. Catch us next Monday, guys. Keep an eye, keep an eye out for stars without numbers. Yes, we when we can, we'd like to do that. But yeah, join the, join the channel, join the community, and tune in next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.